Welcome to the Companion Co-Pilot Aviate video. Want to help your pilot and be more a part of this great flying experience, but need some guidance? You've landed in the right place. Come along and explore how you and your pilot can aviate together for a safe and enjoyable flight. Let's go. First, let's reassure you that airplanes are built to fly and won't fall out of the sky if an engine fails. That's right. Your airplane's aerodynamic stability, guided by your pilot's training, will allow it to safely glide to a landing spot. Sure, it'll get quiet, but your pilot has practiced engine out emergency procedures since first learning to fly. In the unlikely event of an engine failure, your pilot is well prepared to properly deal with the situation. Now to the fun part. You get to enjoy the best view from above. As you relax and watch cars drive along the road, you can experience the freedom of flight. So let's take a look at the controls and airplane parts that help you fly. Most airplanes have dual controls, meaning your pilot has flight controls and so do you. If you've flown with your pilot several times, you may already be familiar with the yoke or stick and the rudder pedals. If those are new to you, ask your pilot if you can learn about the controls while the aircraft is parked to see how they work. When you move the yoke or stick, left or right, look at the left and right wings. You'll see the ailerons move up and down. In the air, the yoke works similar to a car steering wheel. In pilot terms, you'll be banking the airplane to turn left or right. When you pull the yoke or stick back or push it forward, you'll see the elevator part of the airplane's tail move up and down. In pilot terms, this is called pitching the airplane up or down to make it climb or descend. The rudder pedals on the floor in front of you move the rudder part of the airplane's tail. In the air, they control the airplane's yaw during a turn, similar to a ship's rudder that helps steer it on the water. On the ground, you'll use the rudder pedals to turn the nose wheel and steer the airplane during taxi. Next time during cruise flight, ask your pilot if you can lightly put your hands on the yoke and your feet on the rudder pedals when the airplane needs to climb, descend, or turn. If your pilot is comfortable with this, you can feel how your pilot works the flight controls to make it such a smooth flight. It's fun to try and experience. You might even take a flight lesson for more hands-on flying. In a general aviation airplane, the engine controls are usually quite simple. In a single engine airplane, you'll see a black knob or lever labeled throttle and a red knob or lever labeled mixture. The throttle is similar to a car's gas pedal. Want to go faster or climb higher? Push in or move the throttle forward. Want to go slower or descend like going downhill? Pull out or bring the throttle back. At takeoff, the throttle will be in all the way forward for maximum power. During descent, your pilot will bring back the throttle, which helps to lower the nose without picking up excessive airspeed. The mixture allows your pilot to control the fuel to air ratio in the engine to help it run smoothly and efficiently at different flight altitudes, unlike a car, which automatically adjusts for altitude changes. Curious what all the dials on the panel do? Here we go. The six basic instruments show your airplane's airspeed, attitude, altitude, heading, vertical speed, and turn direction and coordination. Many airplanes have electronic flight displays similar to laptop screens, often referred to as glass cockpits, which display the same information digitally, like you might see in the airlines. That said, also remember to enjoy the outside view from your co-pilot perch. Similar to the checklist that you and your pilot went through on the ground, there are also checklists for when the plane is in the air climbing, cruising, and descending. You can ask your pilot to help with these checklists. If your pilot agrees, you can take the checklist and read out each to-do item on the list. Do keep your eyes out the windows for other traffic at any time the aircraft is in motion, and simply call it out if you think it's a conflict. Before approaching the airport for landing, help your pilot look for traffic in the sky around the airport or on the runway. That's it. You're now cleared to aviate. Enjoy your adventure and have a safe flight. <laughs>